ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a vintage cube draft. Thank you. What are we taking here? We got a polluted Dalton, a scalding tarn. The... Did you guys hear that bass? I felt like my whole house shook. Um. Geist could be good. I was like, Geist for Janos. What does that mean? All right, there's a cube draft going on here. <laughs> I guess it's just polluted Delta. I, uh, dude, I don't know. I watched your modern cube draft eight, I think last night. I gotta say, I love it when you get salty and frustrated. It's a real sign. It's just a real sign and reactions. Also the impossible was actually, dude, I get, I get salty more than I'd like to, but I'm aware of it. And I try, I try to be better about it. You know what I mean? Like. It's not ideal. It's not like my, my favorite thing ever. Obviously, that'd be really weird if it was. I'm like, God, I love getting salty. I'm tempted to just take this Godless Shrine and go Esper. I also like Restoration Angel, but if we're taking Restoration Angel, we're already Esper, so... I'm going to take Godless Shrine. Let's just take some lands here. Oh, are they just going to make me Fallen Shinobi again? I don't think we've Espered Fallen Shinobi. Could just take Marsh Flats, though. What's your favorite part of the what's your favorite part of your own stream? The salt. Yeah, you're like, what do you like most about your own stream? I'm like, it's the salt for sure. I'm taking this. I can't resist. I'm sorry. I'm a maniac. Ooh, I like a Liliana Dread Horde in general. Uh yeah. That's just that's a really powerful wizard. Nars it's good. Batter skull's good, but there's no stone forge, so I'm just like kinda less on batter skull than than I would normally otherwise be. Than I otherwise would Mike be. Ha ha ha. That's a little that was a little Mike B joke. I just want Drowned Catacomb here. Is Drowned Catacomb better than all of these other cards? I don't know. Psalm Simulacrum is pretty good. I feel like they should have put all of the, the Japanese versions of the cards, because they have them, so you might as well. It could just be Solemn Simulacrum. I think it's Solemn Simulacrum here. If not resisting Shinobi makes you a maniac, then I don't want to not be a maniac, or, you know, something like that. Oh, for sure, dude. That's a, such a great way of putting it. The moment you reveal two cards with Fallen Shinobi, I'm like, this is it. This is why I play this. I want to see what busted nonsense you have. Shinobi is bay. I remember I did a draft with someone one time. And we drafted this. It was Modern Horizons draft, and we drafted this. And this card was just insane there, too. wonder who I did that draft with. Hard to remember these things. That was me! <laughs> that's correct. That was indeed you. Shut that's that's correct. Mind. Oh, what happened? Keeping my company whilst I eat jalapeno cabbage... <laughs> Dance, I'm not sure if that's worth $5, but I accept. I accept. 
I I feel like it's just Raul. I don't want to take I, actually selfless spirits good with fallen shinobi. Threads is all right, right? Like, how many targets do we really have with threads? I don't know. I think it might be spirit, but I think Raul is probably the correct pick. Maybe I don't look. I don't know. Guys, I just work here. Either way, Dan, thank you for the, thank you for the, uh, the patronage of my company. Whatever that means. I don't even think that's a sentence. That doesn't even make sense. That's utter nonsense. Uh, power two or less. Revelar can, Revelar could be decent. I actually like Mana Confluence as a land. Yeah, the reason I took Spirit was because of Fallen Shinobi. It was just a flyer that I'm like, this is good. I'm going to take Revel Arc. Same reason. If you can Revel Arc, attack with Revel Arc, and then bounce it with Fallen Shinobi and get back creatures, buddy, you're living the dream. I think we're actually taking Kira for the same reason. Thank you. Vigilante, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Do you still do you do you still do any commander? I would love to play with you and company. Um, I don't not do commander. I just don't do it that frequently, if that makes any sense. I'm just going to take all the flyers. I don't, I don't not do Commander. I just, it doesn't happen frequently. I think that might be the exact thing I just said, so I just repeated myself. I'm glad that you mentioned that you're repeating yourself. Yeah, well, I don't want to be... I thought I was stuck in a loop in the Matrix. See, that's the last thing I want. If you're watching my stream... Um, <laughs> the last thing I want is for uh, for you guys to think you're stuck in the Matrix. That's that's like... And I think it happens a lot when I predict the cards I'm going to draw or the, the cards that my opponent's going to play. And you guys are like, oh shit, I'm stuck. And I'll be like, oh man, I'm sorry. I'm just going to take Colgon's Command. This card's very good, and maybe we're Grixis. Maybe the... Um, the other thing comes back. Eh, none of these are super exciting. Can we make a doctored video where you just get all the cards and insane stuff happens? Didn't that... I feel like that's just... I feel like you're just referring to the mono black video we did. <sighs> Maybe we're a Dark Confidant deck. What other opportunities are there to play with you? I mean, like... We could arrange something. I play standard and modern kind of regularly, semi-regularly. I hope that someday I live long enough to be able to download Kung Fu into my brain like in the Matrix. <laughs> that's, that's, that's real ambitious. You're like, you know what? All I want to do is live long enough to download Kung Fu into my brain. That's it. That's my goal. Wow, Blade Splicer seems great. Just because it, you know, both of these, both of these five drops really, uh... Okay, a bunch of red stuff. Kerwood has literally, has literally jumped into... <sighs> this is like power. Scarab God is literally like power if you're in black-blue. It's like the most broken card I've ever seen. Um, Yeah, Kerwit has more than once jumped into a queue while I was in it with a bad Boros Reckoner deck. And he's got the Spite Mares in there. It's a whole thing. The funny thing is, the only thing I want out of this pack is 5 drops. Dragonlord, Ojitai, and Time Warp.
<sighs> I had to download how to be a pilot of a helicopter. Like, sure. Dan's, I'm pretty sure you could just be a helicopter pilot if you wanted to. I don't think you actually need to, to download it. I do think it is go for the throat. I bet one of these comes back. I like a go for the throat. Oh, I like a snappy boy as well. Snappy boy, snappy boy. What are they feeding you? We don't have a ton of instant sorceries yet, but we can get there. Oh, shoot. Oh, biscuits. Oh, biscuits. We also have zero planeswalkers. Immortal Sun is an option. Ugin is an option. Necobolus is an option. Liliana the Last Hope is an option. Oh, God. I don't know what to do here. We have one planeswalker? Oh, Liliana. <laughs> ah, they get it's, they all blend together when you get to a certain age. Do you want Liliana? Is Liliana just the better? It's just just the correct pick. This is just the correct pick, right? Oh god. I'm going to just do it. I have to. I'm sorry. Oh god, it felt so bad. It just felt bad. Oh, Monastery Mentor seems great here. Again, not a terrible amount of spells, but we can get it back with Revel Arc. <clears throat> Gives us bodies for Fallen Shinobi. <clears throat> and we can always get more spells. Force of Negation could be good. Yeah, let me actually check the Magic website to see about... Let me, let me check on this, uh, this Hall of Fame. Can, is there a link anywhere? Can someone link me to the Hall of Fame vote ballot nonsense? I like Vizier here. I think it's Vizier. Skin Render? I do keep saying we're going to get more spells as I pick more creatures. It's true. It's true. I am also really hoping... The only fixing I think we passed was Marsh Flats and Drowned Catacomb. I like Staff of Nin. I like Eldest Reborn. I like Skin Render. I think it might be Skin Render. Eldest Reborn is good, but it costs five. We could just take Staff of Nin. I really love Staff of Nin. I'll take a Staff of Nin. Ooh, a Disfigure, guys. Elder Spell. I'll take Icerath. Um, yeah. This pack is not exciting. Doomblade. I think our deck is looking good. It's funny that we're prim primarily black-white, but we have two double blue cards, which makes me sad. It is a sign. It is a legit sign. Oh, Doomfall is playable. I think our white's just really good. And we do get a Kolagon's command. I don't know. Magic's hard, man. Oh my god, I really wanted to take that skin render, and then he just comes right back. All right, we're gonna put this guy here for now. I mean, we could just get we could just get one red off Solemn. Hmm, banishing light. 
or Obnixilis. I don't know if we're playing Dark Confidant anymore. Fumeral, huh? A bold strategy, Cotton. I'm leaning towards Obnixilis or this. Or I can even see Cloud Guard Ranger just because it makes a flyer for... God, I really build around Fallen Shinobi in the sense of like, I'm just like, I'll... I don't know, man. Magic is something else. I'm gonna take Bob Nixilis attorney at law. Where are the lands, my my dudes? We could take this Chandra, and then we're really, then we're really playing with fire, like the Rolling Stones would say. Don't play with me because you're playing with fire. Spell. It's either one of these two, right? This guy can also get us. I don't think we need a second Solemn Simulacrum. I think we'll just take Spell Pierce. I think it's pretty good. Oh, co Concealed Courtyard. Rakdos Signet, huh? Manalik, huh? I mean, we're definitely playing a deck that, that taps out here. I'm just going to take the Concealed Courtyard because really because we need it. I think it's just City of Brass here. And then we hope we don't die. Do we have any lifelinkers? I like having a lifelinker when I take a City of Brass. Because I don't want to die to like to like City of Brass and Obnixilis. I mean, alternatively, I just take Braska's Contempt or Glint Sleeve Siphoner, but I think it's probably better. Or, you know, Phyrexian Arena, which I think is very good. How can you not have Borderlands and Twitch up and have Twitch video working normally? That's interesting. That's no bueno. That's no bueno. Could be Spell Queller here. But I don't want to, like, give them their spell back and, like, bounce our guy with Fallen Shinobi. We literally passed the Sahili. What if the Sahili comes back? I'm going to take Felvar Guardian and hope the Sahili comes back. It's also not terrible with a lot of our deck, like Skin Render, Solemn Simulacrum, Vizier. Wow, that gets a lot. Revel Arc. Blade Splicer. Kite Self Repeater. Seems okay. Uh, Yawgmoth does not seem great with our deck. Read the Bones could be okay. Sunlance is also probably fine. We do need to make some cuts here. Probably Arena, unfortunately. Oh, Isolated Chapel. That's gorgeous. Josh, do you have the settings on Ultra? Are you using the Ultra settings? Is that why? Thank you. Orcish Veteran, thanks so much for the reset. How has your spaghetti been doing recently? Well... Somebody touch my spaghetti! What more needs to be said, you know? Wandering Fumeral. Cloud Goat Ranger. I'll take a Cloud Goat Ranger. Oh, none of these cards are good. I'll take a Lightning Helix. I'm having spaghetti for dinner. Well, Katie, make sure that, uh... Somebody touch my spaghetti! 
Or make sure they don't, I guess. I don't know how spaghetti works. I just live here. Work here? Oh, dungeon geests. Sulfur falls. Come on, Sahili. You're a terrible card. I have no idea how deep you were in the packs, but... Vraska's Contempt came back? That's super nice. Dang it, Sahili's not coming back. That's really sad. Spell quality, though. Is Guardian good? I don't know. Alright, so we only need five cuts here. That's pretty good. Yikes. Yeah, that... That Vraska's, Vraska's Contempt felt good. Wow. Last pick, Terminato. I mean, if we had a, an efficient way to splash red, we have a Kolagon's Command, a Lightning Helix, a Terminate, and a Nickel Bolus, which are very, very nice. Not a big Spokeweller fan. You can go back. Cut the white cards? We definitely don't have enough to cut the white cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we need to have three more playables in here. I also think that cuts a lot of our creatures and puts us in a really bad position. Especially because all, like again, like you're doing, you guys are doing that crazy thing where you don't realize that we have one, two, three, four, five ways to fix white mana. So we just lose all of these fixing lands without white. It just doesn't work. How good is Mentor here? I'm not a big Isereth fan. Okay, what's going on here? Hold on. Cut the white carbs, whole grains only. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I think I think uh, Splicer is or Guardian is good here. I also think Revelark good here. Take out the spell pierce. We can board that in. This is still 24, and we only have, we have 14 creatures, which is a good amount. Um, I like the Kira, actually. It does kind of contradict Feldar Guardian. Your horrible poo story inspired me to get a plunger. Now let us pray that my insane Japanese toilet never needs it. Kurt, did you not own a plunger? If if I can help the if I can help the people get some plungers. <laughs> That's all I. Maybe I should. Maybe I should get a plunger sponsor. Staff of Nin is one hundred percent my spirit animal for sure. It feels weird when when grown men don't own plungers. That just seems. That just seems reckless. Like you're asking for trouble. Are you literally sharing a video of the mariachi band? That's fantastic. I'd buy whatever pleasure you recommend. Boy, that's a solid strategy because I, uh... I'm quite the plunger. We need like one cut, and I'm tempted to like. I'm tempted to cut Feldar Guardian, even though it's really good. Like, let's let's look at what it's good with. Solemn Revel Arc Blade Splicer. That's pretty much it. Like, Kite Sail Freebooters, you can blink it, but, like, Skin Render. 
Uh, reset. You can reset Dungeon Geist. You can reset Vizier. And these are like kind of, kind of tangentially good because you can like. Hmm. Solemn seems meh. Solemn always seems good. You're crazy. I'll just play 41. Sometimes just like, I just need 41, that's all. Uh, so 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 black sources. You can probably get on 9. I think I'd feel comfortable with 9. 3, 4, 5 blue sources. 6, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 9, 8, 6. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is eight, eight, seven. All right, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, three, four, five, six, seven. This is eight, eight, seven. I think eight, eight, seven is good. Oh, and we get one more. So we get one more swamp arena. Done. Frank Lepore here for me plungers. Wouldn't it be me plungies? Because that'd be similar to me undies. Me plungy sounds pretty hilarious. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, I'll go for this. I can't go for that. I hope with the basic planes we're playing a deck uh, where my disfigure comes in handy. We are. Who can do? I can't go for that. Can't go for that. We do anything you have my soul. Oh man, we are just killing it. Literally killing it. Say no more. Uh, I, I'll do anything that you want me to. Yeah. I would say Hostage Taker. I think it's the stronger card. Oh, I can't go for that. Should be off the top would be gasoline. Now the question is Guardian blink and let them get in with the uh, Thalia? Or do you want to just Braska's contempt this thing? Oh, yes. We're doing it. Living the dream. Oh man, I love I love some hollow notes. Thank you. Daddy Cube, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back to my thing, my streamy boy. Man, can I, can I tell you how good Shinobi would be here? I just attacked this guy and then I'm like, ba bam, bounce it. Get another blade splicer. Splicing so many blades. Honor of the pure. So long, Avita Zane. Look at that sizable gentleman. 
Well, this is all I got, so. They have two cards in hand. Our two cards are insane. So here's the thing. These are the only two six drops in our deck. So if we draw any card, we're in good shape. Any card we can play. And if it's a land, we can play any of the two drops in our hand, so. That's rude. Now you're just being rude. Look at all these enchantments, man. Okay. Y'all got any of them disenchants? I don't think so. Jesus. Mother of God. We're just looking for a Liliana here off the tippity top. Oh boy, that's good. Oh, that's that's pretty good. One, two, three, four. Let's rend some skins. I would like to kill this guy in the middle, but come on, that ain't happening, I guess. They're in like top deck mode. Their top decks are pretty good. What's your favorite Daryl Hall and John Oates song? Um, I think it's Private Eyes. It might be Private Eyes. I see you and you see me. They're going to concede here. Oh, they're going to... Can we talk about how amazing you have to be at Magic to top deck and Manatide when I play Liliana Dreadhorde General and you have two creatures on board? <sighs> Let's talk about it. Let's talk about that. That's just unbelievable to me. See what happens now. Should have attacked first, I guess. All right, well. One down. Okay, we just win. That'll do. Our deck seems fantastic against them. Wow, I don't even know what just happened there. That was amazing. Spellcaller seems actually pretty good against them. Three damage to a non-white creature. Hmm. Hmm. That ain't enough for me. Is Nissa who shakes the world good? Yes, she's very, very good, Sammy. Oh boy. Ladies and gentlemen, this might be the game. I think in terms of mono decks, I've had great luck with mono black and mono blue. And maybe even mono red. But I'm not sure if that was the Grixis cube. 
They might just blend together for me. Steven, see what's going on. I think we win the long game, so I'm actually gonna I'm gonna Doomblade because we have Snap. Next turn we can kite self rebooter and then guarantee that Fallen Shinobi might connect. Legionnaire Journey. Oh, well, let's take Journey. So now we know you have Porcelain Legionnaire and the Planes. Oh, now you just went on two of the cards. Do -do 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 the problem is we do give them Journey to Nowhere back. But ideally... Huh. Oof. I mean, we can definitely block the Porcelain Legionnaire here. They're going to journey the, the Fallen Shinobi for sure, which is fine. I'm off to finish up making dinner. Simony Pot, have a great have a great meal, buddy. <laughs> wow, why are there so many people saying Thraywind Inspector is so unbeatable in the chat? I don't understand. Do 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 do. So if we go Snapcaster, kill this with Doomblade, we can actually just block this guy. That seems pretty good. Well, that's interesting. Huh. Like, we can take Cloud Goat Ranger. Could just play Scarab God. Doesn't do anything, though, unfortunately. Like, there's no way we connect. They might just actually block with a Kithkin Soldier, which I think is actually fine. If they want to pump this guy, too, that's also fine. Yeah, this is actually fine. Because now they can't fly. Vacation, all I ever wanted. Vacation time to get away. <clears throat> Thraven Inspector is a private eye. It's watching you. I see you, and you see me. Bunch of blur in the lights. Oh yeah, I'm very much looking forward to Doomblading and then Scarab Godding, but that's going to take a lot of mana. That's like 13 mana in total. So it's going to take like three turns to do that. Sure.
interesting. I will take zero. That seems good. Okay, okay. Well, we're definitely getting in there, eating another token. Planes, sure. Okie dokie. So now we're gonna Snapcaster. Okay, so planes is presumably gone. Okay. Snap it up. Snap it up. Yep. It's your boy. And that should be the end of the game. Oh, pro black and pro green. Huh. Well, that is problematic. Oh, we have a zombie. That's fantastic. Yeah, I'll put you on top. Sure. That ain't enough, Fogger. I guess they could just kill this guy, right? That seems bad. Yeah, if I'm too for wanting for a, to get over a Mirror Crusader, I'm actually pretty okay with that. This guy makes him black, though, right? Yeah, it's 4 4 black zombie. That's rough. No, you still 2 for 1. It deals one to this and then two to this. It's double strike, not for... Oh, they didn't attack. Yep, keeping that. Oh yeah, yeah, we're right, we can sack level spirit, sure. But now I'm just gonna keep Rebel Arc up. <clears throat> you know, I don't know. What to blur in the lines. I'm good. Uh, one, two, three, four. Scarab God. This guy. Uh, this guy. Okay. And that'll do. Got him. Sometimes you just get him, you know?
Runicape, what's going on, buddy? I was just thinking about you there. I was like, man, I haven't seen Runicape in a couple days. Couldn't target with double strike with Kira? What does that mean? Well, first off, Soul Bond doesn't target, and we didn't have Kira in play. Like, they were taking 8 from Revel Arc for sure. Yeah, soul bond is choose, not tar not target. Oh, we got a Liliana for that dude. Nah, I'm probably just gonna disfigure it. I got things to do. Mm hmm. Crutch Jr., what's going on, buddy? A long time no see. I still have a deck of yours to play. I just wanted to make sure you remembered. I hadn't seen you for a minute, though. So, uh... What's up, Nicolikia? Man, we got a Temple Garden, a Watery Grave, and a Simic Signet. What is going on here? Night's going alright. Just doing a quick little, uh... Modern Cubals. Kokokokira. Long time YouTuber, first time on Twitcher. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Hodge with the gifted sub because you are a maniac. An absolute maniac. Also, if you guys have any gifted subs, feel free to convert them to regular subs because they're only two fifty for the month of September. So I vizier this, and then we're just That was that's pretty nice, right? I can also just play Obnixilis and just slam that dude because this is going to be like a 1 2. Or an 0 2. That's even better. Yeah, let's just play Ob here. Yeah, if I have Vizier Hostage Taker, they can't even really kill Vizier without some some serious some serious spellage. I don't know what's happening here. Masquerum? Sure, that's fine. Do 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 You can feel it all over. Let's draw a card. Let's sack this guy. Let's get... Uh, let's get an island in case we want to go Vizier and Snapcaster in the same turn. I 
I think we just go hostage taker, steal the massacre worm. And then neg on this. Thank you. Oh, we were gonna take the hostage taker. Dang it. Thank well, that's you. worse. Maybe it's fine, we just kill that. Kretsch Jr. with the gifted subs. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You guys are great. Yeah, this is worse because now if they kill this, I, this is that was a misclick. I meant to take hostage. I meant to. I kept saying take. Thank you. Crutch Jr., welcome back. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate the resub. Yeah, this is rough, because now they get to play hostage, take our, take our guy, and put one of our planeswalkers to one. Presumably Liliana. If we kept a blue up, we could chump here, which means we could ultimate next turn. I think we just really messed this up by the misclick, because then they'd kill... They would be able to kill our... our, our but then they would, wouldn't be able to attack us. So, like, yeah, this is pretty brutal. Yep, that's rough. So now we're just exiling this, viziering, and... Oh, what? Wait, what? Um... Mistakes were made? I'm gonna emblem here. Um, we got rid of the massacre room, so they can't actually. I was afraid they were just gonna like. I was thinking they just wanted me to have a ton of zombies. So that they can vizier and copy the massacre room and then just kill me, but I, I don't think did I almost misclick again? I don't think so. In w in what way? Tooth and nail. Well, that's terrifying. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's only they're only they're not entwining it though. Oh, I did I did kept I did click Snapcaster, yes, but Oh, Revel Arc is interesting. So if we get rid of the Hostage Taker, we get our Vizier back. We can copy Sun Titan. Get Liliana back. I mean, we might just have to copy a Leshnorn, right? The problem is Sun Titan is really hard to deal with. Um, they don't have anything to get back, though. If we get our Vizier back, we can just copy a Leshnorn. And then we have a Leshnorn on a Leshnorn. Which seems better. Well, they only have two cards in hand. They had one card, so I don't think they're gonna. 
necessarily draw into a... Oof. Well, that's actually not great. Yeah, this is actually fine. Because now we can get we can actually play Revel Arc. Um, we can play Revel Arc to get Snapcaster. Well, that's not ideal. We also get Kira out of the deal. So we can disfigure something. Getting a Kira back seems really good here. Uh, let's get Snap and Kira and Killer Bird. Just because. And they're going to tickle Liliana, so we might as well just play the land. Yeah, like we have inevitability with this emblem. Like next turn we get uh, eight, <laughs> eight zombies. And like being able to take care of our Leshnorn seems pretty problematic. Because of the Kira. I mean, Languish could be pretty good here. But Shriek Maw, that's fine. See, this is why we got the Kira back, guys, because that would be absolutely backbreaking if we didn't have a Kira. I would have probably held this until I had two spells. But. Well, we don't have Masquerade in our deck, right? So. I don't think Bribery really does anything. I wouldn't be surprised if this just wins the game. Yep, alright. So we tap this guy down, they have two blockers, they take 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Yeah, that's that's lethal. Yeah, that's lethal. Uh, the deck seems really interesting. Sun Titans, Liliana. I feel like they took a gamble by not killing the Liliana and letting us ultimate, but yeah, I don't, I don't know what they were. I was like, just don't do it, man. Don't do it. I keep kind of wanting spell queller. I have underworld connections and Phyrexian arena. That's kind of funny. I'm gonna spell pierce because they do have tooth and nail. I don't know if Sun Lance is any good against them. It does kill a hostage taker, bird of paradise. Mariachi update, they're still playing. Well, somebody's got to. Somebody's gotta play the mariachis. I guess that doesn't make any sense as a sentence. Let's keep this hand. They went to six cards. Everybody. Yeah. Oh, Sheldock Isle. Raging Arena to Sheldock Isle. Did we see any red the first game? Like, what's even going to go on? What's in the guitar case? 
My guitar. <laughs> Last hope. Free booter. Let's see what you got. Tooth and nail hostage taker. All right, we'll just take tooth and nail, I guess. Do you have a black mana? Yes, you do. All right, so you got four cards. One, two, three, four. Rock your body right. Swamp. They're not going to play hostage taker. Fascinating. Maybe they want to play it when they can actually cast this guy in the same turn, which makes sense. I can, I can bond that. Isolated Chapel. See, now I just kind of want to keep Raska's Contempt up. Because I think next turn they're going to play Hostage Taker and cast Kite Sail Freebooter. Okay, they did not. I mean, the problem is if we play, if this was a go for the throw, it would be in such better shape. Because we can play Mentor, we can go for the throw the Hostage Taker when they play it. The fact that it's a Doom Blade and can't hit Hostage Taker is really obnoxious. What is even happening right now? Land. Okay, so you have land, land, find finality. Okay, well, that feels good. So if we get a land, we can just staff of Nin and not have to worry about it. <clears throat> that seems great. This guy's gone. Thank you. Standard B, thank you so much for the gifted sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Okie dokie. Artichokey. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so we assume they're getting Sun Titan and Aleshnorn, maybe? Mascarum and Aleshnorn? That seems worse. But we have Doomblade for the Eleshnorn, so if they just blow their their tooth and nail here, I'm okay. Yep. So I assume they play the island. I cast Doomfall. They played a forest. I think they still have the island, actually. Yeah, Mask of Armalashnorn, sure. Uh, 
Everybody, yeah, save your golems, yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I'm just passing here because they still have find finality in hand. No, wait, it's in the graveyard? Huh. Oh, they cast it to kill the kite sail freebooter. For some reason, I forgot about that. Is this real? Are they actually gonna... Holy shit. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. We got a Revel Arc. We can just let this guy die. So we don't know any of the cards in their hand. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Wow. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible draws. Blink of an eye into Vraska's Contempt. Holy shit, dude. Uh, why not Ninjutsu the Golem? Because it wasn't unblocked at that point. We were still on attackers. That's incredible to me. And now they Shell Dock Isle. Get a Golos. And you can activate your Golos. Seems good. Wow, this is an incredible turn of events. Oh, boy. Blink. Force of a negation into Blink of an Eye into Vraska's Contempt. That's incredible. Some people really do have it all. <laughs> all right. Well, can't beat those five draws in a row. Guess you got me. Guess you got me. We had guys to tap it down to tap what down?
Jesus, those draws, man. Magic's hard. This actually seems good. I'm gonna get rid of. We're gonna get an island with this. Get rid of a plains. We only need one land here. Okay, we did it. All right, let's get Liliana out of the way. Okay, you have six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, you're a warrior, sure. Scarab God, Blink, Unburial Rights. Sounds fine. What'd you put on a shell dock? I'll never tell. I mean, Blink is frustrating because they get to uh, bounce our Kite Sail Freebooter at the end of the turn and then play Liliana. It's a whole thing. Blink is gone. Sure. Did they play a land? They played the other swamp and they played Liliana. Let's get rid of. I guess Freebooter's fine. Gonna be a spell quiller to remind me that I should have had spell quiller last turn. Selfless spirit. That's actually pretty good. Now we can play two, two gentlemen. Uh, let's get an island. Light blue. Pretty uneventful. I will take the signet. Uh, what are you going to do? Get back. You can't even do that, I guess. Yeah, this is actually pretty nice. We can discard Solemn. I guess we'll sack Selfless Spirit. Water Grave comes down.
I mean, they still have a pretty good game. They can sack Liliana to make us... They, they can need a fifth land, though. They have Signet back. Why were we in the, oh, we were in the upkeep? That's interesting. We just got nine mana of value. Like, they could just play Scarab God and make a sacrifice a creature, and it's... Oh. Okay, so we only have these two. One, two, three, four. Do they miscount? Or do they just draw a card that you can conveniently cast? That's totally fine. Like, this is 11 damage. They have to actually make us... They have to actually pitch Liliana. Yep. Probably go Los. <laughs> now we get two free... You get two more looks. Jesus. <laughs> Norn and Titan. Come on, one time. Oh, Jesus. Tooth I'll also take a Tooth and Nail. Shambling Vent. I mean, there are three. That's actually not terrible. One, two, three, four, five. And they're not going to have nine next turn, so they can't actually Scarab God and Unburial Rites. Or Scarab God and, like, you know, activate Scarab God is what I meant to say. We know the three cards in their hand, and Barrel Rights only gets back, like, Golos, which is not super exciting. The problem is they do get Shell Dock Isle, but I think that's actually fine. The pro I don't want them to, like, have... We have Massacre Run, but I don't want them to have fine finality under Sheldock and just... I guess they could, like, activate that and then still play Scarab God, and then we have Massacre Run versus Scarab God, which is rough. We get to draw a card here. They have to have, like, fine finality under this. That would be the, the absolute worst thing they could have. But yeah, the vent was a fantastic hit when we're when they're at three. Like, Ooh. spaghetti's so good. <laughs> Somebody touch my spaghetti. I feel like we've we've played the spaghetti meme a record number of times. <sighs> All right, they're thinking. We know three. We know three of the cards in the hand where they play land. They played forest. So we know two of the cards in their hand. Unburial Golos comes to play tapped, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm listening. So if we activate Shambling Vent, like... Robert Nixalai. Masakre Worm. Okay, we're going to activate this guy and crush. Alright, 
2-0. -oh. Seems good. Seems okay. Masakre worm. I will play first. I will keep this hand all day. All day. We have double blue, double black, so we're going to start with the island. And then we're going to start with city. Then we're going to go with city of brass. And that means the second black can help us cast this, the second blue can help us cast this, or we can just cast this guy. So island city. Islands in the street. That is what we are. Kitty cat's real mad because he wants some food. He's like, Dad, can you feed me? Uh huh. Okay, City of Brass lets us cast these two next turn, depending on what we draw. What can I do with 26 play points? You can play in a two man queue. We could have actually played Kira and then just bounced Kira next turn and gone crazy. Get a little crazy. I think we're still going to do that. Or we can play Blade Splicer and then we got the ground gummed up. Oh, jeez. Can I just give them to you? <laughs> uh, I don't think so, my dude. Not that I would not take them. Uh, cancel. Uh, one, two, three. I like this better because Fallen Shinobi is a real card, especially when we have the uh, the what's known as Kira protection. Rampant growth. Oh, buddy, I'm. I think you're done. I think you're done, Zo. I'll block because I don't think you have a pump. I never want to play lands first with Fallen Shinobi because you always want to see if you're just hitting their lands first. Uh, return you. Oh god. Oh lord. <laughs> Jesus, why? Uh, let's cash rash me. Let's bounce your Duskwatch recruiter. Play our land. Negative this guy. Jesus, crying out loud. Oh, Sower of Temptation. Well, that's cute. Let's draw. Well, the problem is they just sack two of our guys. Now, now it's even worse. We gotta find an answer to that. Okay, so I think we're just going Blade Splicer's Selfless Spirit here. Actually, I kind of like Kira better. Because then they can't get in there with Sower. And then we get a free look here, which could be anything. Dungeon Geists. And I'll play this guy. So this makes about a 3-3. Three, three. Hmm. Yeah, it's whatever. <laughs> oh lord well we're ultimating uh, Liliana next turn we probably should have negative one of these guys so that we can I 
I mean, I assume they're taking Scarab God. Well, they can't activate a Scarab God. I don't know. My creatures aren't actually that great outside of our deck, which is interesting. Revel Arc could be good. You can tell our creatures are not that great because they're like, I don't even know what to take here. This is a hard decision. Our creatures, our creatures aren't even that good. No. <laughs> It's an unfair world, buddy. It's an unfair world. <laughs> no idea what to take here. Yeah, I'm like, oh, you can take Scarab God. It's really good. But then it goes back to my hand if it dies. Uh, you can take Revel Arc, but you got no creatures in the graveyard. Like... There's no real great choice here. Snapcaster, you can... Now you can't do anything with that. <laughs> Bribery concede, like... Eh... Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's fascinating. Oh, no attack? So I just get to ultimate this Liliana here? Oh, boy. Oh, man. They always let me do this, and it's crazy. Hey, this is crazy. Oh, Liliana... Are we playing Dreadhorde General? This doesn't do anything. Neither of these do anything. Even if we don't, we're playing double these guys. Yeah, we're just playing Dreadhorde General. And we get a free card from the Rashmi. And we get three zombies here? Is that right? Is that right? Get out of town. Oh boy. Looking good. <laughs> Looking good. Oh god, what are they doing? So, Cyclonic Rift is in the graveyard. Garrick is good. Are you just gonna draw five here? Oh yeah. You're like, I need I need the cards, man. It has been a while since I took this stage, so happy to have caught your stream with a filled with joy and not rage. Zaxxer, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure, my friend. Snapcaster. You don't even do anything. Neither does, neither does Dungeon Geists, I guess. What are they sack here? Seagate Oracle and Duskwatch Champion? We get to draw two, though. Yeah, that feels pretty good, right? We could also just make literal million zombies. Which is what we're doing. Dang it, lands. Alright. I think next turn is the is the is the time for the alpha. We're just gonna attack with selfless spirit here. God. Like, there's no way they have Massacre Room, right? There's no way they're like... How many times are we ultimating this Liliana of the Last Hope in this in this draft? I mean, the fact that they don't have any other colors other than blue and green right now is pretty comforting. Okay. Still good. 
Okay, this is just a dig. This seems like last ditch efforts here. But yeah, even if they had a wrath, like we still have selfless spirit. Like massacre would be terrifying, but we don't have it, and they they can't have it. I'm watching short circuit in the background. <laughs> Johnny five. All right, we won the game. I'm gonna go to the. We'll go to the next game. Spellcaller actually, again, seems good, especially if they can't really deal with it. Sunlance and Disfigure seem great here. Solid removal. I might just take out Monastery Mentor. I've been unimpressed with Monastery Mentor. I wake up to that movie on Tuesdays? So that's a weird thing to... That's a weird thing to, to have. You know what? I'm keeping this hand. I don't love it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a go. If we can draw... Sunlands Disfigure. Blade Splicer. I'm game. Oh, jeez. Well, alrighty then. Is it Blade Splicer or is it Spell Queller? That's the question. Oh, good lord. I assume you played this. I have no idea. One, two, three, four. This needs... Uh, so they could just pump this guy and then attack with it. They can play that. Make 5-5. Five, five. Ten it is. All right. Whew. Having a good time. I don't know if this is correct or not, but... I feel like this is just a great draw. One into two, into three, into four. Yeah, that seems insane. Sower of Tim Prophet of Crufix. Okay. All right, kitty cat, take it easy. Yep, that'll do. That's all I need to see. <laughs> okay. Ice or Earth seems better than, like, Staff of Nin here, probably. Johnny Five is alive. Watched Red Down earlier today. Wolverine. Crutch Jr., I think you just had I think you just had a nervous breakdown in the chat. I don't love this hand. Again, I don't love it, but it's It's fine.
I mean, if we can draw a Fallen Shinobi, I mean, then we're talking. Let's see what's happening here. Oh, no non-creature cards. Seems good. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Forest. Forest. Ob Nixilis. Robert Nixilis from accounting. Tattoo over in the trash can or in the hand? Kept it on top. We're going to get an island here because that lets us cast all the things. Rebel Arc. They're so lucky we don't have it. Island and other forest. I want to take three here. They're going to play Rashmi. I'm going to exile the Rashmi. And then we're going to play Obnixilis. We can also kill this guy because they have nothing on board. But then they untap play Tatiova, right? Or Icefall Regent? That seems bad. I'll just I'll just draw the card. Oh wow. Oh, that seems good if they don't Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh we are 2 0 currently, yes. Steven. So these are the three cards that we know about. Hundred percent blocking here. Icefall Regent. And then we just kill Icefall Regent. It seems fine. So we can tap this and take one, or we tap we just put this into play on tap and take two. Let's not do that. I feel like we're in good shape here. Tatiova. Virtuous gear hulk. Oh my lord, that is a fat idiot. Well, it has trample, so we're not blocking. lands. I mean, if we plus Obnixilis, it dies. So we're just going to kill this. Replay Freebooter. 
Mm, don't care about any of those. So what we have four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Sure. So now they play Primeval Titan. We attack for five in the air. Oh, no Primeval Titan. Interesting. I just realized the Bob Ross emote you can also use for MT. <laughs> That's amazing. I didn't even know there were Bob Ross emotes. Do you have to be subscribed to Bob Ross or just can, can you just use them because it's Twitch? Oh god, that's so good. Come on. So they played Seagate Oracle, they probably played Forest. All right, we know the two of the three cards in their hand. Jeez, Bob Ross is a national treasure. Tatiova, sure. Land. I mean, they have to find an answer for this. Revel Arc, I don't think they did. Check me out on patreon.com slash franklaport. It's a great way to support the channel without subscribing for a dollar or two dollars a month, whatever works for you guys. And um, good games, thanks so much. Uh, you can also check out CoolStuffInc.com. I have new articles every Wednesday. CoolStuffInc.com. And you can use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off. And that's how you do it. I'm going to go open this treasure chest for you guys. Ready? Let's see what it is. An Elvish Piper, a Murderous Betrayal, and five play points like you do thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate you slam those like and subscribe buttons patreon.com slash frank lapore twitch.tv slash frank uh cool stuff manatraders.com also a fantastic sponsor uh you get 20 percent off the first three months of any subscription they offer physical paper cards or magic online cards with the link and the promo codes all of those are in the description below so check that out and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching